a close-up look at all your Concho Valley High School football, this is Inside the Game, sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group. Welcome to Inside the Game. I'm your host, Jaden Hart. It's week three of the high school football season, and there were several must-watch games throughout the Concho Valley tonight. Mason at Sonora, Central hosting Cedar Park, but we'll start with the number five ranked team out in 3A Division I, the Wall Hawks. In front of a statewide audience, they blew out defending 2A state champs Mason. Last week went into Chesley Stadium in Cisco and knocked off the number 10th ranked Lobos in 3A Division II. It's been an impressive showing from the Hawks early on, but tonight they had another tough test. They played Taps powerhouse Midland Christian, who beat them 35-34 last season. The Mustangs came into the game with a battle still ongoing for the starting quarterback job. And they were off to a one and one start after falling to 6A El Paso Americas last week, where they gave up 380 yards on the ground. The Hawks, on the other hand, had three players rush for over 100 yards, with Mason Fuchs leading the way with 147. So, could the Mustangs possibly stop the Hawks' rushing attack in front of their home crowd for the first time this season? Let's find out. Hawks taking on the Mustangs. There they come. They're excited for this one. Midland Christian coming out of the tunnel. A stalemate early on early, until later in the first quarter here. Josh Balcombe would strip the ball away from River Rodriguez. He would take it down all the way to the one-yard line. That set the Hawks up for good field position. Two plays later, Mason Fuchs punches it in, and the Hawks are out to an early 7-0 lead. Their defense was firing on all cylinders in the first quarter. Another fumble, and it's recovered by Balcombe again. The Hawks held the Mustangs to negative five yards in the first quarter, but they responded. Rhett Clark takes it, powers his way into the end zone, and just like that, Midland Christian is out to an 8-7 lead after a two-point conversion. Then Clark again gets another touchdown for the Mustangs. They're out 14-7 at half. But the Hawks came back doing what they do best, running the ball and go on to win 20 to 14. They improved to 3 and 0. Rachel Turnock is out at Hawks Stadium. We'll check in with her now. Thank you, Jaden. So Wall improves to 3-0 with their win over Midland Christian tonight. Crazy close game. Joining me now is Wall head coach Houston Guy. Coach, I know that you were really pleased with your defense tonight. Would you say that you guys passed the test against this very high-octane Midland Christian offense? I, I, you could say that. You know, they stayed on the field most of the night tonight, you know, trying to keep those guys out of the end zone. Did a great job. Uh, you know, those, those, uh, those guys played, you know, they own the line of scrimmage tonight. They own the secondary. You know, all, all over the field, you can't say enough about them tonight. Yeah, how big was it that you guys just got, you know, a win like this, especially I know last year, you know, was last year. Midland Christian beat you guys last year, but you got your home opener win. Always feels good just to get that win at home. You know, it was a huge win. You know, to get these guys, th this is a very good football team. And anytime you can beat Midland Christian, uh, it, you know, it, that's kind of a feather in your hat. This is a very good football team. They got a great coaching staff. They do a great job. Um, and, and these guys are a very, very talented ball club. You know, they got skilled guys everywhere. They're big up front. And so anytime you can beat these guys, you know, it's, it's pretty exceptional for us. And we were just talking how you guys have Sonora coming here next week. Well, Sonora is always just such an exciting game. It's one that we look forward to. So what are you looking forward to next week? You know, it'll be it'll be a game with, with two great programs, you know, two tradition-rich programs that, that, that'll go head-to-head. -head. You know, we have a lot of respect for Sonora. You know, they're going to bring a, a football program here that's, that's going to be well-coached. They're, they're, they're going to be very physical. They're, they're, they've changed offenses. They're a slot T offense. They're going to run the ball. They're going to grind it out. So defensively, we're going to have to change our mindset from a pass-oriented offense that we had this week. Uh, but I think our kids will be ready. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck. Jaden, back to you in the studio. This update sponsored by Bug Express. Last week, Central bounced back from their season opening loss to Clean Shoemaker in style, beating Del Rio 52 to 10. But they didn't get to enjoy that win for very long, knowing tonight's opponent, Cedar Park, was in their near future. The Timberwolves are one of the best teams in 5A, and if the Bobcats took anything away from their 37 22 loss last season, it's that you can't overlook this team. Their defense is known as the Black Rain. It's one of the most well known tradition powers in Central Texas. A stout defensive line angered by Blake. Bell that allowed just 43 rushing yards last week against in-town rival Cedar Ridge posed a serious task for Malachi Brown and the Bobcats trio of running backs. So let's find out how this one played out. 
Central trying to make it two in a row tonight against Cedar Park. Here we are, first possession of the game. They make it look easy. Ryder Hernandez under pressure, and he finds Gunnar Ashback in the end zone. Timberwolves out to an early 7-0 lead. Still first quarter. Next possession for Central. They convert a fourth down with a keep by Malachi Brown. And then later Brown finds his good buddy Tanner Dabbert. He goes into the end zone. These teams battled back and forth tonight. And the game ended up in overtime. And after three touchdowns in a row from Cedar Park, they would go on to take this one in overtime, 42-35. Stick around. We'll have more inside the game. We're just getting started. After the break, we'll take a look at a historic matchup that took place tonight in Mason between Sonora and Mason. We'll have the highlights from Lakeview's game with Snyder last night, and we'll check back out at Hawk Stadium with Rachel. So stick around. We'll have more inside the game right after this. And I wish we had some. Dr. And rich, delicious Dr. Pepper. Cool robot. Thanks, but actually he's a cooler from the future. Wow. Wait, no, 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 he's very cold. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, so nice to treat you. Introducing Price for Life, the lifetime deal from Suddenly. Get Altice One Plus Internet for $54.99 a month. For life, yes, $54.99 will always be $54.99. You'll get over 100 meg internet with unlimited data available, 4K Ultra HD, over 200 channels, and a $100 Amazon.com gift card. Call 888-588-4709 or visit suddenlink.com today. You've never seen a TV and internet offer like this, only at Suddenlink. The Labor Day sale at Furniture Row has been extended, and the more you buy, the more you save. I saved 100 bucks. We, we saved, saved 200, 200 bucks. bucks. Save 100 bucks for every thousand you spend store-wide. Save on living room, dining, bedroom, and mattresses. We, we saved 200 bucks. Plus, get no interest financing until January 2024. Buy more, save more at the extended Labor Day sale at Furniture Row. Hurry, sale ends September 19th. Hey, Alicia, how much can I actually save on a new Ford truck? You can save thousands at Jim Bass. Right now, get a brand new 2019 Ford F-150 XLT Supercruise 4x4 and get 15 grand. Yep, that's what I said. 15 grand in total savings. Shop 24-7 at BassBucks.com. Hey, Alicia, who's the handsomest man in the car business? I do not think you know him. Man, I wish we had some... Oh, Dr. Pepper! And rich, delicious Dr. Pepper. Cool robot. Thanks, but actually he's a cooler from the future. Wow. Wait, no, 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 he's very cold. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, so nice to treat you. Welcome back to Inside the Game. Out here at Hawk Stadium, Wall gets the win over Midland Christian tonight for their home opener. And at halftime, the Hawk baseball team received their state championship rings. And we have Jason Schneers joining us. Coach, you guys got some new bling tonight if you want to show it off. That amazing looking ring. I'm insanely jealous. Something that you guys won for the first time ever in baseball with Wall. Congratulations, Coach. Just what was it like getting to hand these out to the guys? Yeah, you know, it was pretty special. They, they actually came in on Wednesday, so I got a sneak peek at them a little bit earlier than some of the guys, but we kept it a secret as best we could and um, let those guys experience firsthand, and they were, they were really uh, excited to see them for the first time. And just to be able to do it at your home opener in a football game where you have a huge crowd and um, it was we kind of advertised it and people came here to support those guys which they deserve and so uh, we wanted to make it special for those guys and and i think it turned out great for them i know your mind has been on football season obviously uh but did it kind of just bring back a lot of just the memories from round rock back in june well i saw your video the other day and you know those it, those memories will never go away. They're, they're etched in your brains. And so um, anytime you get to go back and look at something from the past, and especially good memories like that, it, it's always exciting to do. So to, to be able to soak in this moment and, and uh, get the rings that shows your hard work and what paid off and, and what we actually accomplished, uh, it's pretty special. Um, and of course, a lot of the players that are already graduated came back. You've got five players that were on varsity football right now that were on the team uh, last year that are still on the team. Just um, how cool is it just to get to see everybody again tonight? Oh, yeah, those seniors move off and they go start their first weeks of school and, and jobs and whatever else. So you get to see them in a different 
type of atmosphere. They're they're graduated and doing their own thing, their own life, and they come back. and It, it was really special to see those guys and and the ones that are will be around for the upcoming season. You know, um, we hope to do it again. And so it, it was good to have the team back. It was kind of a little reunion, and um, it, was, it was very special. All right, well, thank you so much, Coach, and congratulations. We'll see if you guys can do it again. Wall gets the win over Midland Christian tonight, 20 to 14. Jaden, back to you in the studio. By Bug Express. You'd have to go all the way back to 1933 to find the first time that Mason and Sonora squared off. The Broncos got the best of the punchers in that game 12-0. But a lot has changed since then, and tonight for the 49th time, the two teams met again. Last year, Mason beat Sonora 27-0 en route to their second state championship. But the Broncos are trying to create a run of their own this season under new head coach Kevin Sherrill with running back Brock Eschenbeck averaging 271 yards on the ground so far this season. This one had all the makings for an exciting game. Let's go out to Sonora. The punchers going for back-to-back -back wins against the Broncos for the first time since 1974. First quarter, Tad Kirby takes the handoff. He's around the corner, off to the races, and he's finally pushed out of bounds. It didn't matter, though. Tad Kirby having himself a night. He gets it again. Well, it faked out of our cameraman, but Tad Kirby was in the end zone for a touchdown, folks, and that would add to Mason's lead. Then it wouldn't be a Mason highlight without Clay Klarner. He takes it, making a few moves, finding his way down just shy of the end zone. The Mason punchers were, it was their football game tonight, and they would go on to win in shutout fashion, 33-0. Entering the 2019 season, a Lakeview football team hadn't won back-to-back -back games to start a season since 1997. That changed last week when they went to Fabens and won 27-7, which leads me to this week's stat of the week. Last night, they were trying to make it three in a row, something the Chiefs hadn't done in any point in a regular season since 2013. And that would be the first time they've started 3-0 since 1983. Standing in their way, though, were the Snyder Tigers. Let's go out to San Angelo Stadium. Last night, the Chiefs excited for this one. Hadn't beat the Tigers since 2004. Early in the first quarter, Cam Smith gets tackled, drops the ball. Austin Bandy's got it, and he's gone. Green grass in front of him. Look at that. Sprinting down the sideline, finds the end zone, and Lakeview is out to an early 7-0 lead. But they weren't done. Second quarter now. Chiefs in the red zone. Albert Rodriguez finds Bandy again. That's his second touchdown of the game. That extends the Chiefs' lead 13-3. Still in the second, Rudy Martinez gets the handoff, makes a cut, bounces it outside. He finds the end zone. Chiefs rolling 19-3. Their defense was firing on all cylinders, too. Anthony Martinez comes off the edge for the sack. And then how about someone or one from the big man, Jeremy Martinez or Hernandez, stopping the quarterback. Chiefs fans loving what they're seeing right now. But how about one more for Bandy before we go to half? Look at that pass from Rodriguez. 74 yards down the sideline goes Bandy. That's his third touchdown of the game. Chiefs go into halftime 25 to 5 with the lead. And then Johnny Espinosa is going to add his fifth touchdown of the season right there. The Lakeview Chiefs start 3 0, improving that record from 1983. They win 32 to 19. Grape Creek Eagles taking on Rock Springs in Grape Creek tonight. First quarter, George Rodriguez with it. He takes the snap and decides to keep it himself, weaves his way through traffic. And he finds the end zone for the touchdown. Eagles lead 8-0 after the two-point conversion. Still in the first. And Rodriguez says, how about we run it back? He takes the quarterback keeper 70 yards to the house. Look at that. No one even close to him. Down in the end zone. And then Rodriguez, how about one more for him? Great Creek goes on to win this one in blowout fashion, 40-0. They get their first win of the season. Let's take a look at how the other teams did out in District 4-3A tonight. TLCA drops its third in a row to cross playing 62-12, and Ballinger improves to 3-0. They beat Colorado City 49-12. All three of these Concho Valley teams have a bye week next week before they start district. And then last but certainly not least out in 3A, coming off that big win against Haskell last week, 
Brady losing right now 49 to 24. That game was in the fourth quarter when I last checked, but I'm pretty sure the Bulldogs are going to lose this one. Maybe they come out and turn things around. We'll see. Coming up on Inside the Game, we'll see if the Miles Bulldogs were able to keep their perfect season alive tonight against Roscoe. We'll also check in on some of the other teams around 2A, and we'll check out with check it back out at Hawk Stadium with Rachel one last time. So don't go anywhere. You're watching Inside the Game. Hey, Alicia, who has the absolute best prices on newer used cars in all of West Texas? That would be Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Right now, get a brand new 2019 Nissan Titan Crew Cab 4x4 SV. Just 33912. Shop 24-7 at BassBucks.com. Hey, Alicia, do you think I'm cute? I would rather not answer that question. Traditional or alternative, formal or informal viewing, burial, graveside, cremation, casket, overwhelmed, when it's time to mourn the loss of a family member, there are a number of things that keep you from focusing on grieving. Schaefer Funeral Homes helps you take care of everything in a way that will help you focus on what is important, your family. Schaefer Funeral Homes takes care of you so you can take care of them. Schaefer Funeral Homes, serving Concho Valley families for over 30 years. When it's hot on the outside, a superior services truck in the neighborhood means it's cool on the inside. Homeowners know the importance of having a maintenance agreement, and really smart homeowners have a superior services maintenance agreement in place. Business owners and homeowners depend on superior services to keep their customers and their families nice and cool for the summer. And proper maintenance can help you save money on your utility bills. Superior services offers 24-hour emergency service. To see a superior services truck in your neighborhood, call 223-5442. The rule of three states, things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. Get over 6,400 below MSRP on this 2019 GMC Yukon Denali. Plus current eligible GM owners get over 3,200 additional purchase allowance. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Welcome back to Inside the Game. I'm Rachel Turnock out here at Hawk Stadium. Wall wins their home opener against Midland Christian 20 to 14 tonight. So they improve to 3 and 0. They're off to a great start to this season. Their defense really stepped up tonight, which has just kind of been their theme this season. So up next week, Wall's going to stay at home to host a very familiar opponent, the Sonora Broncos, who did suffer their first loss this season against the Mason Punchers at home 33 to nothing. The Broncos offense just couldn't get anything going going tonight against the Mason Punchers and Wall Sonora is just always such an exciting matchup and that will be Wall's homecoming game so just kind of adding more to it. Wall's been extremely successful against Sonora. They won the last 12 matchups dating back to 2001. So Wall's got some great success against the Sonora Broncos especially here and with it being their homecoming game this place is just going to be on fire coming off of this win against Midland Christian which head coach Houston Guy said was definitely going to be one of their toughest opponents on the schedule this season going back in probably stay until two in the morning to watch some film on Sonora and with this huge win they're just rolling so far but they're going to be coming up with a new defensive scheme next week against Sonora but as I mentioned Wall has won the last 12 matchup against the Broncos so they've got some great success going against them once again Wall wins tonight 20 to 14 over Midland Christian they improve to 3 and 0 for the final time from Hawk Stadium I'm Rachel Turnock Jaden back to you in the studio Miles quarterback Davian Martinez was dominant last week. He threw for 287 yards and three touchdowns, but also picked up 191 yards with his feet and scored two more touchdowns in their 44-14 win over TLCA. This week they faced the Roscoe Plowboys, a team the Bulldogs are 2-11 and against and lost last season 41-29. to So could they get past the, past the Plowboys and start their season 3-0? and Miles. Hosting Roscoe, David Martinez warming up. Remember that name I talked about him earlier. How about the Miles defense? Opening drive, Roscoe Jr. Martinez fumbles it, and the 
uh, Bulldogs come up with that one. Ensuing Bulldog drive. Martinez is going to show off that footwork. Keeps it himself. Finds the end zone. Miles out to a 7-0 lead. Go to the start of the second quarter now. It was perfect for the Bulldogs. Roscoe attempts a fake punt, but Miles wasn't fooled. That led to another Martinez touchdown two plays later. Later, he gets the push in from the big boys, and the Bulldogs were pretty dominant in this one. They win 49 to 28, improving to 3 and 0. Other teams in District 8 to A. Cristobal wins tonight against Van Hoard. The Cougars out to a 3 and 0 start, 43 to 14. As for the other team, El Dorado bounces back after that loss to winners last week. They beat Brackett tonight, 46 to 22. And a little bit of 2A action for Junction. They had a tough task coming in against number three San Saba in the state. And Junction shut, was shut down. San Saba wins that one 63-0. One more team, the Ozona Lions. They win two in a row after their win out in Iran last week. They win 36-0 over Reagan County. Later after inside the game, the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is here with an encore from Kendall Jenner. You don't want to miss it. After the break, we'll get into this week's six-man game of the week between Erie and County and Eden and see how the other teams in six-man did. Before we do that, let's go to this week's Bowls Fan Camp. September sell-off. Only at Kelly Grimsley Kia on Arden Road. Pick a vehicle, pick a payment, gigantic inventory. Cars as low as $269 a month with no money down. Trucks as low as $449 a month with no money down. Don't need a payment? Buy SUVs as low as $19,888. We want your trade, paid for or not. Top dollar for your trade. Plus eight-day vacation for two with every purchase. Experience Kelly Grimsley Kia of Ben Angelo today. <sighs> bad sleep. No, oh, the worst. You know, there's really no excuse for bad sleep. During the extended Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or get $100 off any Doctor's Choice original. Save up to $400 on select Sealy Hybrid and Conform mattress sets. And receive a free $200 Furniture Row gift certificate. And no interest until January 2024. Hurry, the extended Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. At Concho Bell Bonds, we have an honest, friendly, and professional staff with over 40 years of experience. We understand that if you or a loved one needs our help, you want fast and efficient service that you can trust. That's why at Concho Bell Bonds, we are here for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. With easy payment plans, and we accept all major credit cards. E habla español. At Concho Bell Bonds, it is better to know us and not need us than to need us and not know us. Hey, Alicia, who has the absolute best prices on newer used cars in all of West Texas? That would be Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Right now, get a 2018 Ford Focus SE or a 2017 Jeep Renegade. Your choice, just $12,988 or zero down and only $220 a month. Shop 24-7 at BassBots.com. Hey, Alicia, do you think I'm cute? I would rather not answer that question. Inside the Game is provided by Chick-fil-A. Our six-man game of the week turns our attention to the Erie County Hornets on the road in Eden. So far this season, the Hornets in their first year of six-man football have started pretty well. It's their 2-0 and start since 1975, and they've won back-to-back -back blowout wins. Eden, on the other hand, started their season with a loss to Blackwell, but bounced back last week, 45 in Rotan. It's the first time since 2005 that these two teams have played each other. Let's see what happened out in this one. First quarter is where we will pick this one up. Eden with the ball. Up 8-0. to zero. Excuse me, Erion County's got it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Javi, Javier Omli strips it away from Erion County, and he's going the other way. Look at that. In the end zone, Bulldogs now up 16-0. to zero. 
later on in the quarter. If you don't know who Hunter Rogers is for Eden, you're about to learn who it is because he lays a block there for his running back, Devontae Brown, and he gets his way into the end zone. Eden up 24 to 0. The Hornets, though, would get some offense going. Here, Jace Contreras with it, making a defender miss, and he turns on the Jets. See you later, folks, is what he says to those Erie and County defenders. And Erie and County is out to a 3-0 and start. They haven't played six-man football in over 20-plus years, and they're beating these teams. 62-53, to Erie and County. Water Valley hosting Zephyr. Wildcats trying to start 3-0 and this season. Opening drive for them. Gunnar McCoy has the ball. He takes it around the, uh, the side and gets into the end zone. Water Valley striking first, 8-0. to zero. Fans loving that up in Water Valley. For, later in the first quarter, Connor Wise pitches it back to Gabriel. He's going to cut through the middle and take it for himself for another Wildcats touchdown. The kick was blocked. Water Valley would still make it 14-0. to zero. And the Water Valley Wildcats would go on to win this one 56-48. They're out to a 3-0 start. Let's check in on Sterling City, the number four ranked team out in 1A Division I. They easily get past Hermley tonight. They're 3-0 as well. Some other teams that we would check in on, Blackwell taking on Newcastle, the number eight team in 1A Division II. Second quarter, Blackwell out to a 16-6 lead, but Michael Lowry is going to get taken down. Newcastle would find the end zone on this drive, but Blackwell was going to win this one. Eight. The number eight team wins 77 to 38. Let's look at some of the other scores really quick. Bront start out or starts out 0 and 3. Highland beats them 62 to 0. Robert Lee gets back to back wins 55 to 6 over Santa Ana, and then Very Best drops it to Westbrook in that tough district, uh, 50 to 0. Well, I want to thank everyone who showed up tonight and watched Inside the Game. We'll be back for week four. Plenty of good matchups next week. Our production staff, everyone in the newsroom did a great job. So stick around for the high school football season. It's always going to be exciting. Thanks for watching Inside the Game. Inside the Game is sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group.